What's going on everybody? Welcome back. I hope everybody's doing well. So for today's video, we're continuing on my little mini Sun and Moon series where I open every Sun and Moon set I've never opened. And today's video is probably the biggest Sun and Moon set of them all. I had to crack a brand new sealed case to get this box. It hurt me big time. And probably opening the box is going to hurt me too. But for today's video, it's Sun and Moon Team Up. Hopefully this box is going to be better to me than the last few openings so let's let's have a toast cheers to this box blessing me with the pulse man oh man am i nervous about this opening <laughs> let me tell you i am nervous and i i'm usually never nervous it's just this box i think they go for like 800 dollars now it's just it it hurt yeah that hurt and i just hope you know just for everyone's sake that you know we get some decent pulls because it gets it start, it gets, starts to get to really really disappointing and like it just sucks not pulling anything that great or having a bo booster box that's awful and i'm sure i'm the same like everybody else i understand that you're not gonna always pull something and I, even though I always expect to pull something, I understand that, you know, you know, you're not going to always pull something. You're not going to always going to get great pulls, but best be damn, you know, I expect great pulls every time. Boom. Gengar and Mimikyu, regular GX. I hope, I hope we don't get killed at regular GXs again, because last time that was extremely disappointing. But boss, yeah, it was the Ultra Prism, right? Yeah, the Ultra Prism. I hate how the code cards are like that, because now we're gonna see if it's a white or a green code card every single time. Come on. Cobalion regular GX. Hey, better stop. It better stop. It better stop. I need let's cheers. Cheers. Light refresher of apple juice as usual. So hope everybody had a nice weekend. Um I had a wonderful weekend. Uh what did I do? What did I do this weekend? Oh, I filmed, uh, well, I filmed my heritage auction, uh, what I want, that video. That took up a lot of time. Uh, what else did I do? Clean, clean my basement, you know, play with the cats. Typical, typical weekend for me. Come on, Puccini, Judo, Bronzor, Puccini, Tentacool, Pidgeot, not hollow. Started off really hot with the two regular GXs, but the regular GXs are hollow for me, so. Come on, baby. I gotta, I gotta learn how to figure, figure something out where I don't show the green code card every single time. So I know some of the pulls in this set just because my friend Jen really wants to pull that Latios and Latios uh, alt art. So I know that's probably the biggest pull in this set, but I'm gonna be happy with any, like any alt art. Come on, give me an alt art. Give me a hyper. Don't give me. Some garbage regular GXs. I mean, a floor trainer would be great. Just hoping, you know, hoping it's a decent box. I mean, a better box than Ultra Prism. Man. But, give me one second. But I can't believe it's mid August already. <laughs> It's crazy. Everybody's going back to school. Everybody's going back to school. I'm so happy. I'd never have to do that again. Even though school is a lot of fun, college was a lot of fun. I mean, it's just, when you get in the real world, it's a lot better. Especially when you find a job that you really love, like I have at my uh, company I work for. It Nothing gets better than that. It's, the job's not too demanding. I basically make my own time. I only answer to the CEO. I can work from home whenever I want. Basically, as, as long as I get my work done, it doesn't matter when I get my work done. So it's really, really nice to just have that freedom and ability to, you know, adjust my schedule. And if I have something I need to do, if I need to go down to Nick's film, I can, I can just adjust my schedule, do a little work when I get to his house. But finding that job that you genuinely 
don't hate waking up for if you're gonna have a nine to five is the key in life it doesn't matter about pay i, I like pay yeah like pay you know having a, a decent pay is nice but for me having a job that gives you an amazing work-life balance is worth a hundred thousand dollars to me so probably more than that but like if i didn't have the job i had now i would never been able to be this involved in Pokemon as I am now and I don't think I would have the collection I have if I didn't have this job so literally I owe this job everything and it's probably one reason why I'll never quit because I feel like I just owe them so much I'm so grateful for them giving me the job and just the job being what it is <sighs> because prior I was in a really dark place I hated my job I quit my my public accounting job and then I went to work for Barnabas Health and that was a nightmare. I, I, I lasted seven months. Seven months gone, done. My mom was like, you can't quit without a job. In the works, you can't live another job offer. And I'm just like, dad, I, I, dad I'm miserable, I'm depressed. It's, I literally hated waking up every day. I didn't want to wake up every morning and I didn't want to go to sleep. It, it was that type of depression, it was bad. But quitting that job and not having anything lined up was scary but it was the best decision i ever made and this this job i'm currently at i've been there what since 20 november 2016 so i've been almost there five years now wow that's crazy i it just landed in my lap and it's only 20 minutes away and i'll be forever thankful for the rest of my life for the, the job i have for getting the job for the job the way the kind of job it is how just like casual it is it's not it's just oh shame in that thing those things are not worth really anything but just man yeah like all my friends always look at like the salary number for jobs and i'm just like that's not it that's not it that's not it it's really not it like when I first started at this new job, at this job I'm at now, I had to take a pay cut. I took a pay cut from my previous job. It was a decent sized pay cut, but oh, there's a Charizard in this too. Yay, Charizard. And you know, it didn't matter to me. Like, I mean, obviously I took it just because I needed a job and the pay cut was better, but like a couple weeks in, I soon found out that it was all worth it. It was all worth it in the end. And I couldn't be happier. I love all my coworkers. I love everybody I work with. Hoopa GX. We're getting a lot, to way too many GXs, and I don't like it. I do not like it. But yeah, if anybody that's you know, not like everybody asks me like, why don't you just do Pokemon full time? And I'm just like, it's not worth it to, because I'm capable of doing both. Due to the the freedom I have with the job I have. So if you can have a, a job that gives you that type of freedom, there's no reason to ever quit it. But yeah, I mean, my friends usually look at like a salary number as like their go-to like indication of whether to take the job or not. And I'm just like, my one friend literally has been from job to job to job to job and he's been miserable every single job because he only cares about salary or the name of the company. And it's just like, when are you gonna learn, right? You know, it's like, that's cool. It's cool, Lugia Hala. It's like, when are you gonna learn, you know, it's, I think we're in an era where people really do value their work-life balance finally. As you can see that people like if like with the whole everybody's every, like companies are trying to make people go back to work when they've been working, you know, from home for the past year and a half and it's just like people are just quitting if they're not able to work from home cuz it's they've obviously shown that they can work from home and get the job done just as just as as well as they did when they're in the office. So it's like I just don't know why a couple of my friends just don't don't value that work-life balance. They just value that paycheck. I guess they're, I guess they're just, I don't know, they're short-sighted in realizing that when you have that work-life balance and you have a job that gives you that flexibility, you can have your side jobs and you can create other, other, other streams of income. 
and it's like that's going to be way more beneficial to you than grinding at a corporate company and you know like grinding and grinding and moving your way up to the ladder because ultimately you're going to be better off being your own boss on the side and i believe that you can probably make more money and do greater things on your own but not all people have that that like mindset but you know but yeah that audit we were going through last week at my company where it's finally done thank god thank god <sighs> no big hits yet there's no big hits yet <sighs> I'm, I'm gonna regret opening this box i know it i know it come on positive thinking positive thinking positive thinking positive thinking come on Yveltal Hollow. All right. Hopefully the, the last remaining packs, I think we got. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So nine. So hopefully the last few packs are loaded. You know? Hopefully they're loaded. That would be fantastic. Give me an alt art. Give me, give me, give me the Latios, Latios alt art. That'd be amazing. Give me the, give me a, give me a full art trainer. Why is that a hollow? Why is that a hollow? Why? <sighs> so I, I've been thinking of uh, doing like a uh, mail day video. Oh, wonder, wondrous labyrinth. It's probably worth nothing. Um, I was, I was wondering. I was, I'm planning maybe to do a uh, mail day video. If you guys would be interested, basically, it. Collecting nowadays is very hard and very difficult. Besides, obviously, the stuff I want from Heritage, but I usually ha I haven't been buying like I used to in like 2017, 2018, 2019, even 2020. It's just collecting so hard right now because everything's just so expensive. Um, but the one thing I do collect and I I've been collecting very heavily is old advertisement. Even not even just Pokemon, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, any TCG that's ever existed, I've been collecting old advertisements for. So I have a mail day of some advertising advertisement packages, and if you guys would be interested in doing a mail day video and checking out what I what I bought and what, what came in, let me know in the comments below, please. Cause I, I I might even do it regardless if you guys don't want to watch it, cause <laughs> it's it, collecting advertising has become my favorite thing to collect in this hobby. I love all the posters, pre-release posters, the window clings, just. It's just history. I love history. I love collecting history. And so, yeah, let me know. Let me know if you guys would be interested. So I would love to share with you because like, it's a shame that I started doing YouTube a little later because I've been, I, 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 I've met, I met a guy in Canada named Steve, amazing guy. He used to own a card shop and I've been buying advertisement from him for like, I think maybe two years now, some great Pokemon stuff. I wish. You know, I had a YouTube started already. I would love to share it with you guys, but let me know. I got another package from him recently. So if you guys want to check out what I got, let me know. Oh my God, come on. What is this? It's... What is this, guys? Huh. That's four regular GXs. Man. I'm gonna regret opening this box and cracking that case. See, and it's like old me would be like, it's cool, it's cool, just open more, just open more, just open more. But when boxes are eight hundred dollars, you can you know, you can't just keep opening more. It sucks. I mean, cause that's that's how you solve the problem of not pulling anything. You just open stuff until you pull stuff. That's it. That's the easiest solution to things. Last two packs, man, last two packs. Come on, give us something. Give us something to, give me, give me something worthwhile. Come on. Last pack magic, baby, come on. Got Selby on the front, come on, baby.
I hate Sun and Moon. I, I genuinely hate Sun and Moon. <laughs>